flashback. Fourth and five. Wisconsin just rubbing it in, going for it. They don't even care. Dropping back. First down. That's game. Alabama officially upset. The first one seed to get knocked off is in the Mountain West region. I don't even know what to call it. Fifth OT. And they find the man. Touchdown. They do not want to go down. Fourth down play. This is big. Boise State makes the stop. Unbelievable. Did y'all have that in your brackets? It's March. It's madness. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. What it do? It's King Sponge coming at you with another heater. Round of 32 for the college football playoffs. Can some of the big time Cinderella stories keep it up in round two? We're just inching one step closer to who's gonna be crowned the Natty Champ. The support we got in the last one was absurd. You guys rock. Sweet 16 Elite 8 very soon. Final Four and the Natty right around the corner as well. So buckle up. A lot of action packed content on the way. Let's get to it. Okay. So here's a quick update. The first round is over. All the matchups are set for the second round. We got some exciting ones. A lot of upsets, man. A lot of upsets. So uh, keep your 10 toes down and we're going to the round of 32, the second round. Winners advance to the Sweet 16. A lot on the line for these schools. A lot on the line. All right, folks, let's kick off the second round with one seed Michigan who got past Boston College going up against UCLA, who is the ninth seed who got past Kansas to get to this point. Uh, expect a good game. Michigan comes out guns a blazing, but so does UCLA. 14-7, 14-10, Michigan 21-10. Let's jump in and see what UCLA can do. Down by five, two minutes and 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Can the ninth seed upset one seed Michigan finds an open man first down with one minute left they got first and goal fullback end zone Colson touchdown UCLA takes the lead big going for two he got it uh, and they did not get it. My eyes played a trick on me. Incomplete. Michigan. That helps Michigan a lot. This would be massive, though, for UCLA. I don't even think you know. Upsetting Kansas. Nine versus eight seed. It's, you know, pretty even matchup. But getting through Michigan. But Michigan is not going anywhere. Playing at this league for Michigan. I would imagine you got the leg for this. But crazier things happen. UCLA season on the line. Can they make a stop? Michigan survives and wins. Wow. All right, we got a Mountain West matchup in the round of 32. Wyoming, the 12th seed, going up against Air Force, the 13th seed. Game on the line. Third down. Defensive stand by Wyoming would send their fans in a frenzy. And they get the stop. Let's go. Wyoming with momentum. Make it make sense, Wyoming. Make it stay classy. I don't know what the heck this was. Just to make it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that serves you right for the nonsense you're trying there. Air Force with the win. All right, we got six seed Iowa going up against 14th seed Florida in the second round. Let's recall Iowa beat Kentucky. And Florida upset number three Missouri to get to this point. So uh, Florida looking to keep their Cinderella story alive. Set of field goals. Got them up 13 zip at half. Iowa's offense is nowhere to be found. They're on pace to get out of this game with a fat L. Florida is here to play in March. Gators want to seal this one up with a big play here on defense. Going deep. And there is the big play. Florida Gators... Get the pick. They are going to walk away as another upset winner. 14 seed takes out 6 seed Iowa. It is March, folks. How many of you correctly guessed Troy versus Boise State in the round of 32? Insane. Taylor Green getting stifled by the defense, but hey, we can throw that all out the window now if the Broncos can get this first down. And they do. Big time. 
Last chance. Boise State could walk away victorious if they get a stop right here. Going deep is a miracle in effect. He catches it, but that is game. A snag, 55-yard snag, but it's too late. The Broncos are walking away as upset champs. 15th seed moves past number seven, Troy. Wow. All right, one seed Texas taking on the Tar Heels. Eighth seed Tar Heels. This is not a team to sleep on. Tar Heels walk away victorious after five rounds of OT against Duke in a North Carolina rivalry game. Up by three over Texas. Texas responds with a touchdown. And we got a close battle here, folks. 21-10 Texas. 28-10 Texas pulling away. This looks like their game for the taking. They will not be denied. One seed Texas moves on. Another fairly even game on paper. Four seed Louisville takes on Oklahoma State. Five seed Oklahoma State in the second round. Four versus five seed. Anything can happen here in March. They're both trading touchdowns. It is even across the board, man. Defenses, offenses, equally capable of doing some things. So 14-7 Oklahoma State, 17-7 Louisville, though. Not, not to back down quietly. Oklahoma State up by 13. This is going to do it. Oklahoma State walks away victorious. The yeah, action just keeps on coming down in the East region. We got NC State versus Virginia Tech. NC State beat Memphis and Virginia Tech upset number three Penn State to even get to this point. So um, I expect a intriguing game on our hands. Let's see if they got the offense to go up against NC State's defense. Uh, that is a good point of emphasis on this NC State team. But Virginia Tech, two quick scores, make it three. Uh, can NC State do anything here? They are getting close to the end zone, in the red zone, with two minutes left. They do a QB keeper. QB power, nowhere to go. Game on the line. Cinderella story on the line. Can they get through not only Penn State, but NC State as well? Wolfpack in jeopardy. Absolute atrocious play call. They're going to lose the game to Virginia Tech. So we saw Virginia Tech keep writing their Cinderella story. Can 15th seed Fresno State upset Utah? Man, 15th seed had the upset of the whole like tournament over Ohio State, but they're getting actually pounded right now by Utah. So that will probably be the end of the run for Fresno. Utah keeps it rolling. First over AM, now over Fresno State. Decisive victory here today. All right, one seed Washington taking on eight seed Clemson. Should be a battle out here, but can you dub keep it rolling? They had the high powered offense that were flying in the last game, up 13 7 in this one. Uh, three or so minutes left. Fumble recovery. Clemson had a costly fumble. Can Washington pound the stone, pound the rock with Penix? That is a QB keeper. That's actually a wildcat play. Okay, Clemson has a chance to knock off one seed Washington. Down by only six. Finds an open man across the middle. They got two timeouts. They got time on their side. Kincaid Klubnik drive his team down to victory. Across the middle again. That There goes that man again. First and goal. Antonio Williams. This is insane. A touchdown here gives them the lead, giving the extra point, but that's a lot of time for Washington. Let's see what they do with the ball. Handoff. Outside. Nowhere. Second and goal. Another handoff. Stuffed. Defense makes a stand. Third and goal. Will Washington come through? They stop him. Huge stop. Fourth and goal. Game on the line. Clemson, and effectively just wasted an opportunity there. Fourth and goal. Can they do something? That's game. He had an open man. That's game. I repeat, Washington wins. All right, Smew's going up against Tech. Smew 
our five seed going up against the 13th seed. Tech had to beat Arizona, the four seed, to get to this point. Smew had the lucky draw of getting the disqualification for New Mexico State. So first time on the action on the field, we get to see Smew, Tech up 14-3, taking care of business here, 21-3. This should be, I mean, on seed in bracketology, this is an upset. This field goal will just put them up by 13. Game. So just some extra insurance points. We got it. All right, Smew got themselves down to the red zone area. 50 seconds left. Clock is dwindling. I think this is just a last gasp. See if Smew can cash in and go for an onside kick. That was dangerous. Smew found an open man. First and goal. 30-something seconds left. Can they just cash in? Make it an onside kick scenario. They go to the side. Yep, got his man. Dixon, touchdown. See if they can recover this. If not, that is going to be the ball game. Oh, my gosh. Way too much power on that ball. That's game. All right, 11 seed Iowa State bringing on against three seed Ole Miss. Ole Miss uh, had to get past the Rutgers and Iowa State upset Oregon State to get to this point. So um, Iowa State up by three over Ole Miss here. Going into the second half, Ole Miss is still looking for some points. Iowa State, hello. They need this drive big time here. Under two minutes, down by six. Ole Miss losing to Iowa State. This would be another big upset if the Cyclones can hold on. Big play. Jackson Dart taking Ole Miss down the field rather methodically here. Hitting his guys in stride. Looking again at first and ten. Nowhere to go. Out of bounds. Dart, nowhere to go. Scrambles. Got a big play on his legs. First down. Ole Miss getting close to that red zone. Screenplay, nowhere to go. Iowa State with the sack. Big time. Third and ten. Big play here. Iowa State defense hoping for a big play. Dart looking for the first down or more. And he got it all. Massive 32-yard touchdown with 29 seconds left. That is big. Extra point, no good. He missed the extra point. Massive play, but he misses the extra point. Iowa State has a chance. OT at the least. Big play. Fourth down, just going to punt it. They're okay with the game going to OT. Ole Miss, second and two. Dart slings it. First down. Iowa State can win this game with a touchdown. Cyclones need to dial up something right here. Whatever the right antidote is, it has to be used now. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Okay, Rocco with a fresh set of downs. Threatening. Going to the side, picked. That is a massive OT pick to seal the game. Old Miss survives, and the Cyclones in their Cinderella story go down. Miss continues on. All right, number two, Georgia, who got past a scare from Cal, takes on UTSA, the 10th seed, who upset Tennessee to get to this point. Will the Bulldogs... Have more of that high-powered offense that we're used to seeing, or will UTSA keep things interesting? So far, 10-3, 17-3. The dogs are starting to roll. As we know they can do, 31-10. UTSA is probably looking at their dreams squashed. Yep, that'll do it. Georgia, decisive. 39-17. Move on to the 16. 
Miami coming off a win over the other Miami and Wisconsin with an upset over Alabama. So we got the 16th seed Wisconsin taking on 8th seed Miami Hurricanes. 7-0 quickly for Wisconsin. 7-7, 14-7, Miami in the lead. Tie ball game going into halftime. Second half underway. Miami takes the lead again. Looks like Wisconsin. Can they get back in it? Wow, they do. I guess we should jump in. 21-21. Wisconsin going up against Miami. 16th seed. Wisconsin wants to keep the dream alive. Third and two. Mordecai with 53 pass attempts already. Looking to carry his team. The Badgers pass the Hurricanes. Let's see what he can do. Finds a man on third down. Big play. Let's see what they can dial up here on third and three. Going through the air. Sacked. That is exactly what Miami needed. This might be out of range. They have to punt. They do all of that to take a sack. Mordecai couldn't throw that ball away. To now to punt. This game is likely going to OT. All right, second and five, Miami in OT. That'll do, first and goal. Dyke, Van Dyke, keeper down to the two or three. Hand off to the running back. Sheds through a man, can't get past the next. Fletcher down with a one yard gain. Hand off, 22, no chance for stopping him. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Okay, it's all up to Mordecai and the Badgers now. Can they respond, keep their 16 seed dreams alive? Little option play, doesn't go anywhere. Got a man, but nothing again. Three straight plays of zero yards. This is it. Hurricanes defense can advance to the Sweet 16 if they make the stand here. And they do. Big sack, fumble. That is ball game. The Hurricanes are advancing to the next round. 12 seed Maryland comes to town to take on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish Maryland upset Tulane to get to this point. Notre Dame had a decisive win, if I recall. No, it wasn't decisive. They had a close one against Ohio and the Bobcats. Let's see if Maryland can make things interesting for the Irish or if the Irish will roll. Looks like Maryland up by four can get a big conversion here if they can get the first down. Let's see if Tagovailoa... And the Terrapins can keep their season alive in March and get to the Sweet 16 that uh, everyone is looking forward to. Tagovailoa, third and four, finds a man. That is going to go a long way against this Irish team. All right, Notre Dame's out of timeouts. Third and five for Maryland. Let's see if they can dial it up. If they can pull something out here, this game's just about sealed. And they do that is going to be game that is going to be the decisive play of the game unless i don't know what just happened there i they wasted maryland and their coaching staff with poor clock management again how do you go from having zero timeouts left the first down just kicking a field goal with 57 seconds left make it make sense terrapins well inevitably <laughs> that's going to give the Irish a shot with 38 seconds left. No timeouts. I was going to say Maryland has already on, been on a, a nice roll upsetting Tulane. Upsetting Notre Dame here would just go another way to certify that resume. But I mean, with that coaching staff chewing the clock, I don't know. Notre Dame fighting for their playoff lives in March Madness here. First down. They are not quite out of it yet. 17 seconds left. Clock stops on that first down. They're going to spike it. Trying to dial up the right play. Getting close to field goal range, even though that's not what they need. They need a touchdown, so they have to have something big. That will not do it. Irish need this third down conversion. 
Looking for someone. Time's winding down. Got the first down. Awfully close to the red zone. On the downside, seven seconds left. So they need to take a shot to the end zone here. This is for all the marbles. Can the Terrapins hold on? Irish going to the middle. Got his man. Three seconds left. I don't know if they have enough time to spike this, but if everyone hurries to the line quickly, they might. One more play. Or just end the game. Clock management, folks. That's the difference. Maryland wins this ball game. All right, Sooners left no questions on the table after their blowout win. Two seed Oklahoma, or sorry, three seed Oklahoma up here against the 11th seed UNLV running Rebels who beat James Madison in the last round of playoffs. Up 7-0 on the Sooners, but Sooners have that high-powered offense that is getting stifled today by the Rebels, actually getting demolished. 24 zip in the first half, 31 zip. Rebels are looking for something special here in March. This is unbelievable. UNLV in the driver's seat up by two touchdowns over the Oklahoma Sooners. I came to this game thinking Sooners had no questions. They looked high powered, but UNLV stuns the world in March. 31, 17, this game is gonna be over, I would imagine. Let's see what happens, end of the game. Touchdown to cap it off, 38-17. Absolute handling for UNLV. Wow. All right, so these two teams had fairly easy routes into this round of 32. K-State beat West Virginia. Oregon took care of UCF. Now the winner of this game has a date with UNLV. You heard that right. UNLV, the Rebels, my cats, or the Ducks could be taking on UNLV. But wow. This game is off to an interesting start, but Oregon, there we go. They're starting to kick it into the offense. I knew they had. Um, Cats defense is solid, but this game is going to go to the fourth quarter, man. Let's just take a look. See what the Cats can do here against the Ducks. Tie game in the fourth. Some pressure coming in. That's going to be a punt. Need a defensive stop here for the Cats. If you're the Ducks, first down here will go a long way. Let's see what happens. Big play coming up. Handoff. Not going to get there. Is this field goal range? They're they're attempting it. Setting up for the field goal. Fourth and two. He got it. Nailed it. Howard looking. Got a man. Christian Moore. First down. Going deep. Got a man. Ben sent it across the middle. 30-yard snag. That is NFL caliber Ben Sinnott with the snag. Shout out to my Dynasty Series on K-State. Go give that a watch. Um, not sure, though, what I'll have out first. Regardless, if you're watching this, go give a watch to the K-State Wildcats Dynasty. See how we're doing. Time to rebuild. Time for the future with Avery Johnson. But, yep, I'll be a happy camper here if the Cats can pull it off. Nothing against the Ducks fans. Just, you know, got to root for my school when they're on the line for the game. Ward. This is potential for major upset on the Ducks here. Can they make a stop? Howard looking. Going to the corner. Almost picked. Should have been picked. Second and goal for K-State with 30 seconds left in the game. Got a screen for Ward. Nowhere to go. But minus six yards. Two tie the game and likely send us to OT. Cats, the snap, the kick. He got it. We're going probably to OT unless he returns it. Yep. All right, OT Thriller. Oregon versus K-State. Winner goes to the Sweet 16 against UNLV. Incomplete pass. K-State defense swarming over Bucky. Minus five yards. Big, big, big play here. Defense wants to hold him to a field goal. Offense wants to get another shot. New set of downs for a touchdown. Play action. Going deep. Got a man. Touchdown. 
Chris Hudson, 30 yard ducks on the board. Insane, third and 15, gets a beat on his man, touchdown ducks. Nowhere to go, uh, demolished. Throws an almost crucial pick. This will likely be the final play of the game. Will Howard and the Cats, fourth and seven. Need something big, otherwise Ducks walk away as champs. And he got a man, big play. Oh my goodness, and a friendly shove on the back. <laughs> Philip Brooks, big play. First in goal, 20 yard snag. Brooks keeping the season alive. It's crazy, it's March. What's next? First and goal. Will Howard, keeper. Nowhere. Touchdown, Ward. All right, we're heading to double OT. Get a second shot at it. Howard and the boys again on offense here. Hand off to Ward. Going for the field goal. Okay. Let's Oregon in the driver's seat here. Pitches it. Bucky's got the edge. They are... 11 yards away from winning this game. And I accidentally hit the sim button, but Oregon gets the win. And with that, the Sweet 16 is set. Michigan versus Air Force. Florida, Boise State, Texas, Oklahoma State, Virginia Tech, Utah, Oregon, UNLV, Miami, Maryland, Ole Miss, Georgia, Washington, Texas Tech. Home. I'm on my way. I'm coming.